Today is the first day of Native American Heritage Month. So all throughout November, we're going to bring you stories that celebrate Native culture and highlight current community issues. And tonight, we begin with Denver 7's Micah Smith, who is profiling a Denver school that serves as a bridge between the past and present and is now in danger of closing its doors. When I was uh, living on the reservation, I went to uh, an all-Indigenous school. But when ninth grader Marshawn Duran moved to Denver... It was like culture shock. Until... Duran found a place where her culture was the focus, the American Indian Academy of Denver. I've learned a bunch about like my culture that I didn't know. We have several families that are so excited that their kids can now talk to their grandparents in their in Lakota or in Dene. But Academy founder and head of school Terry Bissonette says the 6th through 12th grade Academy is struggling to stay open. So we opened um, in full remote during the height of the pandemic um, and went to hybrid learning in January of 2021. Bissonette says when full in-person learning began, staff members weren't prepared to handle the mental and behavioral health issues students were experiencing. We experienced a high staff turnover. And Bissonette says students also left opting for traditional schools. We were at 170 um, at the beginning of August. We are at 135 right now. Bissonette says DPS requires 152 students to be enrolled. And the district says because of low enrollment, the school will receive $820,000 less in per pupil funding. Year after year, our the Native American graduation rate hovers around 50%. The Native American ethnicity group almost always is at the bottom of every achievement, test, assessment, achieve, you know, academic growth, all of that kind of stuff. Bissonette says the academy wants to change that but can't without funding. I think the school should always be here. It has a great community. It's not just a school. It's a big family, pretty much. Bissonette says she's fighting to keep her school open for ninth grader Tanner Flowers, um, Marshawn, and, and all like, students looking for a space where their culture isn't just accepted, but celebrated. Reporting in Denver. Micah Smith, Denver 7. Bissonnette says charter schools often close two to three years after opening. And we dug into those numbers. So between 2001 and this year, DPS reported 22 charter school closures. That represents about 28% of all charter schools in Denver within the past 20 years.